If you have severe knee osteoarthritis and are exploring non-surgical treatments, you might have heard about platelet-rich plasma injections. PRP has gained a lot of attention for its remarkable ability to reduce pain and symptoms in mild to moderate knee osteoarthritis. But what about severe arthritis? Do PRP injections still provide effective relief for advanced conditions? I'm going to delve into the existing research and share my own experiences in treating patients patients with severe knee arthritis. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. Let's first start with what is platelet-rich plasma? Platelet-rich plasma injections, also known as PRP, are a cutting-edge treatment that utilizes the healing properties of your own cells. The procedure involves a simple blood draw and then separating the blood into various components using a centrifuge. We then take the layer that has all the platelets and growth factors and then inject that into an injured area. PRP treatments have been shown to be incredibly effective in treating a variety of conditions including tendons, muscles, ligaments, and joints. One of the best studied indications for PRP injections is knee osteoarthritis, and the body of evidence supporting its use continues to grow. A recent study analyzed 35 randomized controlled trials with a total of over 3,100 participants with knee osteoarthritis. This comprehensive study evaluated the effectiveness of various treatments including corticosteroids, platelet-rich plasma, hyaluronic acid, and placebo. The results showed that PRP injections were the most successful treatments in improving function and reducing pain after 3, 6, and 12 months of follow-up. Even better, there were no differences in treatment-related side effects or adverse events in any group when compared to placebo. But the big caveat here is that most patients in these clinical trials have grade 1 to grade 3 arthritis, indicating mild to moderate knee osteoarthritis. Patients with grade 4 or severe arthritis are typically excluded from these studies. And it turns out there is actually a lack of data specifically looking to answer the question, do PRP injections work for severe knee osteoarthritis? The limited data we do have come from smaller randomized controlled trials like this one. This study randomized 75 patients, half to get a single PRP injection and another half to get a single corticosteroid injection. They found that at three and six months post-injections, VAS pain scores favored the PRP group, but that there was no statistical difference between the two groups. Functional scores also favored the PRP group, but again, without statistical difference. Even patient satisfaction scores were higher in the PRP group, but this too was not statistically significant. Now, I do want to point out that there were several issues with the study. First, there was a huge discrepancy in the randomization process with over twice the number of patients in the PRP group having grade 4 severe arthritis compared to the control group. This likely skewed the data against the PRP group, but despite this, the PRP group still had better outcomes. The study also did not restrict NSAID use before or after PRP injections, nor were the injections done under ultrasound guidance. Both of these factors are known to affect outcomes. The biggest issue was the use of lower dose PRP injections with a median platelet count of about 4 billion platelets per injection, and that's compared to the 10 billion platelets that I recommend for knee osteoarthritis. So even despite all of these limitations, the study still found a trend towards improvement favoring the PRP group. And these results support what I have been seeing in my own clinical practice in treating patients with severe knee osteoarthritis. In my experience, PRP injections are highly effective for all severities of knee osteoarthritis. Now, it is true that those with mild to moderate arthritis respond much more favorably compared to severe arthritis, and this conceptually makes sense. PRP works better when the arthritis isn't as advanced and may be less effective for severe cases. My experience has been that most patients still do reasonably well with just one high-dose PRP injection done under ultrasound guidance. In my experience, a little over half of patients with severe arthritis respond well to a single high-dose PRP injection administered under ultrasound guidance. About 10 to 15 percent of these patients experience significant improvements that last nine months to a year, similar to those with mild to moderate osteoarthritis. Around 40 percent are what I call average responders, achieving about six months of relief. 
The other half of patients with severe arthritis are low or non-responders. Among these patients, 25% see about two to four months of symptom improvement, while the remaining 25% experience no improvement at all. So as you can see, the results are highly variable, but most patients experience some improvement. It's just much more difficult to predict the extent of improvement and its duration. For some patients, one injection will provide relief that lasts a full year, while for others, it may not work at all. Unfortunately, there is no reliable way to predict who will respond to the treatment and who won't. And so here's what I recommend to my patients with severe knee arthritis. Start with one high-dose PRP injection and reassess after one month to determine if a second injection is necessary. If a second injection is not needed, I remind my patients to focus on proper nutrition, weight management, and aerobic and strength training exercises. We then reassess at the three-month mark. If the patient is doing well, we continue with the treatment plan. If they're doing okay but still have bothersome symptoms, we consider an additional injection at that time. However, if symptom relief wears off quickly within the first two to three months, we discuss whether getting PRP injections about every two to three months is a reasonable long-term treatment strategy for their condition. This approach can become costly compared to other non-surgical treatments or a knee replacement surgery. Ultimately, the decision to get a PRP injection for severe knee osteoarthritis is personal. Some people prefer to explore all non-surgical options before considering a knee replacement surgery. Many of my patients have found PRP injections to be highly effective and often delaying the need for knee replacement surgery. Many of these patients are happy to get a PRP injection once every six months, once every nine months, or for the lucky ones, even once a year. Others who've tried it and who haven't experienced much benefit are still glad they did it because it made the decision to proceed with a joint replacement surgery much easier. Lastly, it's important to know that not all PRP is the same and many factors affect the outcomes of a platelet-rich plasma injection. That's why I created the next video which provides in-depth knowledge so that you know everything that is necessary about getting a PRP injection.